Welcome to the 8th Annual Navarre Fishing Rodeo. I'm Robert Turpin, I'm the Waymaster for this event and we want everyone to have a great time but first and foremost we want to talk about safety. We just had a hurricane and there's a lot of debris in the water so when you're out there watch the weather, watch the water and let's have a safe event. Fishing times will start at 12.01 a.m. on Saturday and end in time for you to get to the scales by 4 p.m. on Sunday. And you must be in line with your fish by 4 p.m. in order to weigh your fish in for this event. So I'll be sharing the Waymaster duties with Mark Nicholas and we will have the scales open at 1 p.m. each day and we will close the line at 4 p.m. each day. We have three divisions this year. Junior anglers are ages 5 through 12, and a junior angler may register and compete in the open division, but that must occur at the registration time, and once they declare open division, they must weigh their fish in the open division. For the open division and kayak division, you may register in both of those divisions and pay a registration fee in both of those divisions in order to weigh fish in both of those divisions. But each angler may only win one prize in each division. So for example, a junior angler can win as a junior angler only. A open division may register and win in the open division. They also may win one of the slam divisions. A kayak angler may win a kayak division and, and one of the slam divisions. If an open angler or a kayak angler wishes to register to participate in both divisions, they may win an open division, a kayak division, and one of the slams. So it's really important for each angler to weigh all of your fish in because as those anglers decide which prize that they win, the board will move up. For the open division, we have 17 species categories. They are gray triggerfish, amberjack, bluefish, bonita, cobia, dolphinfish, also called mahi-mahi, flounder, grouper, king mackerel, pompano, redfish, sheep's head, snapper, all but red, Spanish mackerel, spotted sea trout, tuna, which is blackfin, whiting, and for the grouper, it is any species that's legal in the grouper family. Same for the snapper, any species of snapper that's legal. And be real careful with your Spanish and your king mackerel. A small king mackerel looks a lot like a Spanish mackerel, so make sure that you identify based on that lateral line. Also, in the open division, there's a slight uh, modification to the rules. Trout is actually a spotted sea trout, what we call a speckled trout here in the northwest Florida coast. This year, we have three slams. We have the Scooters Offshore Slam, which consists of the Spanish mackerel, king mackerel, and grouper. The Coastal Life Charters and Adventures Inshore Slam consists of flounder, redfish, and again, the spotted trout, speckled trout, what we call them here. We also have the Sunrise Marine Super Slam this year, say that three times fast, consisting of two offshore species and two inshore species. So you have king mackerel, redfish, grouper, and speckled trout. And in the junior division, those are ages five through 12. We have eight species categories, pinfish, croaker, hardtail, catfish, pigfish, trout, redfish, and Spanish mackerel. And in the junior categories, trout are all species of trout. So white trout, speckled trout, silver trout, uh, any of those species of trout. We also have an invasive lionfish division, which there's no entry fee, but those will be based on the total largest weight combined for both days. The legal fishing areas for this rodeo are to the west, to Pensacola Pass, east to Destin Pass, and north to the Florida-Alabama line. 
Fish may be caught on rod and reel, with the exception of lionfish, which may be speared. And one final note, all fish must be harvested legal according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife as well as the Gulf of Mexico Fisheries Management Council regulations. We will be weighing the fish that are legal. We will not be able to weigh any fish that does not conform to those regulations. The eighth annual Navarre Fishing Rodeo could not have been possible without the hard work of all the volunteers and without the generous sponsorship of all the sponsors. And also I wanna thank the Escambia County Board of County Commissioners for allowing me to come out here and serve as your waymaster, along with Mark Nicholas. We will be here both days to assure that you know exactly which species that we're weighing in, and we're happy to answer any questions for you. Be careful when you're handling lionfish, they do have venomous spines, and just have a great time out there on the water.